As a part of a pilot program, 8th Street will close down from Maine to Bannock to host social distance dining. We'll have drawings very soon, and we expect that they'll be on the sidewalk, and then the streets will become the way that people can move easily. Another consequence of the COVID pandemic, and a couple of sections of 8th Street have remained, well, not so much a street, but a big, wide open sidewalk for people to meander. Three years it's been this way, according to the Downtown Boise Association. Pedestrian only since June of 2020. And we've dealt with big orange barriers in that spot for, well, basically that long as well. Kind of an eyesore if you've walked by them and seen them. Sandbags propped up against them sometimes, as you see there. But the DBA says they have a purpose, those barriers. They're to stop blind people or anyone with low vision or vision impairment from just wandering into the busy cross streets of Maine and Idaho on the other side. They were and are supposed to be temporary. And in the meantime, one local Boise artist is adding some other colors to the monochromatic canvas. Here's Andrew Bartline. It surrounds downtown Boise. The sounds, the detours, the orange. This is a really nice little street here that I don't think people want to confuse construction with um, art. The art. So we add all our colors. Organized. And then we add our outlines. By Bobby Gaetan. And so it's a fill outline concept. Process. It's a process made possible by the Downtown Boise Association. So they can see some, some different other than construction right now with all the orange and flags and signs. Because despite a few signs, 8th Street isn't under construction, even though it's donning the same blockades. Now turned to canvas. Plastic, it's got all these ridges. It's a team effort between Bobby Touch -ups if those are and his assistant Dana to draw a line between the two. Yeah, we call this one the blob make some really nice crisp lines. Easy line works that you can, you know, um, that we can manage in, considering our time. Well, I think a lot of folks agree that it's been a, an upgrade to what, what was already there. And it's already getting noticed. I actually did. Right here. Um, is it just this one? Randy Anderson spotted it immediately. Oh my gosh. And there. Yeah. She saw that too. Yeah, that's so cool. The art. It's starting to surround Boise too. I think it's also really cool that it's a local Boise artist and that's so cool to be able to look at that instead of a big orange atrocity. <laughs> An atrocity that evidently has at least one big fan by way of another atrocity. And there was one guy who came by and was like, mm, it's okay, they're not curing leukemia. Like, I don't know why that has to be either or. The real either or is construction or pedestrians only. You kind of move the can around so you could cover those little round edges. Drawing a line between the two. It, it's a very <laughs> challenging canvas for sure. Showing that maybe surrounding eighth, there's something in the orange. It's welcoming. A lot of times people come to a city and they see the art and they, if they can connect to the city, they feel, they feel comfortable and they feel welcomed. And I think that's a good way to, to look at it. Bobby and his team will be working on this project for all of those barriers going down 8th Street uh, till Thursday. And that's going to be, I believe, at 10 a.m. when they're actually unveiling that. We also talked with them about those barriers. I know you talked about this earlier. OK, yes, because <laughs> I've been down there several times and I just feel like they're unnecessary. And I question every time I saw them, why are they there? So the long term solution is like, I don't know the name for it, but those little bumps you can feel on your feet. The idea is to have those go along 8th at all those intersections. So people who are visually impaired can feel it in their feet. They don't have to have those barriers up. But that's what they have now. This is what they're doing in the interim to maybe look a little less atrocious, as that woman so elegantly put it. <laughs> Until you explained it to me, I was angry about it. Now I'm not. I There's your it. answer, Brian. Thank you very much, Andrew.